what is going on guys welcome to the 30th episode of my ultimate team journey around the world and we get our free pack here and with robin and bell still in packs i was absolutely going to take my chances with it this week but we do get another free pack out of it which is always nice and we are going to throw all the contracts and fitness cards into the trade pile as the consumable pile is full from that last little pack opening but we are moving on with australia in division two and I believe our record is 2-0-3, I think, something like that. So we are still in a good position to, at the worst, hold opposition, but get that Division 2 title or just the promotion into Division 1. And we come up against this team here, 4-2-3-1, Liga BBVA side with 6 Cam Eto and 6 Cam David Luiz. And there is nothing more that pisses me off in FIFA than seeing random overpowered players thrown into squads because it just shows me that they are only in there for their pace like Luis and Eto. But a boring game here to start off this episode as that one finishes at a 0-0 draw and there were very few good scoring opportunities. But regardless, we pick up a important point there is I believe we have four games left now and we sit on seven points which gives us the ability to have to pick up three wins and a draw in our last four games to get that Division Two title, which is a nice 10,000 coin bonus. And hopefully this Australian squad can continue the strong play that we have seen in these last couple of games here. But some mass substitutions to the squad there as it is time to switch a couple guys up. And really, we change up almost the whole squad. And we come up against another 4-2-3-1 BPL side and there is nothing more boring than playing BPL sides which you know who you're going to come up against on the defensive end and this guy has six Cam Lucas thrown in there strictly because of the pace he has a stat boost card a steroid card some people call it on Berbatov and I'm no doubt going to assume that's for his pace because if Berbatov was a little faster in this game he would be a terrific player but his pace is absolutely killer as with the amount of pace people use in their defenders, he is basically useless. But you see there, we go into half up one nothing after a, not the prettiest goal, but at this point, we'll take it here. As Tim Cahill was able to just nod in the rebound into an empty net. And in the 57th minute here, we're going to win ourselves a corner. And it's going to be Alex Wilkinson, the big center back, who's going to get on the other end of this one. And put us up 2 nothing there. And in the driver's seat for the rest of this game. And we would not look back on this one as we would continue to increase the lead. We're going to get a good free kick opportunity here as Emerton draws a foul just outside the top of the box. <coughs> and we are going to let the veteran right-footed player Tim Cahill from my hometown, New York Red Bull, step up to take this one. And we are going to get a lovely chance here. But Cahill is not going to be able to get this up over the wall. And there comes a point where the free kick is a little too close to the wall. And that was one of those cases. But here in the 90th in 90th minute, Bernie Ibanese rumbling, bumbling, stumbling over the defense and puts that one in for the third goal of this game and wraps us up with a 3-0 victory. And back-to-back -back shout-outs for this Australian squad. And Mark Schwarzer had played superb yet again. Only three chances there. But he was playing some quality keeper. And that is what we have been waiting for in the series. As it is a major difference and a huge factor in why we are in so many games here with a weaker squad. Compared to the most of the teams that we come up against in Division 1. But a couple more changes here is, again, it's all about keeping the players' games even. Because if not, Triosi would not be on the field because he has been a major disappointment up top. But we come up against the 4-1-2-1-2, boring BPL squad as usual. Lu David Luiz and Kobiul in the back. And we go into half again in a 0-0 draw. And I just cannot stand kids who take use David Luiz because it is an absolute crime how good he is in this game compared to some of the world-class defenders but it is absolutely absurd in this game that he is the best defender in this game and he is really a player that signifies that you're not a very good defender if you use him in my opinion because regardless of people saying oh yeah i know how to defend this and that he is back there simply to clean up defensive mistakes that people make 
as you could misstep with him two and three times and he still has the ability to save you from poor tackles and recover and make plays on the ball that should not be made and I people are always going to argue that it's they're not bad defenders because nobody wants to admit that they're bad at anything especially people that play FIFA but in my opinion David Luiz is a guy that you use if you are not a good defender and here in the 55th minute I think we had like four or five for corner kicks there but go figure he's going to get one back and of course it is David Luiz the most overpowered player on this game without question and he is going to just open the floodgates here after that one as we started pressing for the equalizer and this was a game in which this kid was nowhere near better than me it was a pretty even game but he just had the difference of David Luiz on his back line and I didn't as he was able to clean up a ton of mistakes in his back third and with Teote as a CDM who was extremely pacey for a CDM it was near impossible coupled with Kabul to break through his back line as that is just a signifying factor that he was not confident in his defending at all but you see there her taken down in the 90th minute in a 4 nothing game and that is called a foul and just before that I showed you guys Tim Cahill get through the defense and he got taken down in an extremely similar situation and there was no foul called in a one nothing game so like I said the inconsistencies of refereeing on FIFA in a video game is absolutely absurd to me but we drop a tough 4 nothing loss there in a game in which this both sides were pretty even the only difference was David Luiz on the back line and that kid was definitely not a better player than I was and was no question about it not four goals better than I was but that is the way FIFA plays out sometimes and you just have to move on and live with it but that is going to wrap up episode 30 so if you guys enjoyed it a like comment and subscription would be greatly appreciated thank you guys for watching I will see you guys next episode